last laundry load. Oh, clean sheet day. Now for the big kahuna. All right, let's go clean some toilets. Grow sheets. I always question my life choices. Ah, oh, that's a fun drink. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly and I work on yachts. Today I'd like to bring you along on my day. I get up early because what I found is I need the time for myself. I love working out and jogging, but it's so dang hot here in South Florida that if I have to wait till the afternoon, I'm just not gonna do it. Good morning, you guys, it's 5.30. I started getting up early because I'm the chef on the yacht and the chef has to be the first one up to cook the food for when the guests arrive. So it dawned on me a few years ago that if I just continuously get up early, even when guests aren't on board, then it'll be easier for me because I'll be accustomed to getting up early. So that's what I do now. I get my quick workout in. I go for a quick little jog. And then I lift some weights, today's leg day. I thought I would bring you along for what a day in the life is like. <laughs> Starts out with a little jock ski. Let's go. Since I'm already sweaty in the morning, I might as well lift something heavy. After the gym, I head to the clubhouse for a delicious coffee. Would you look at that view right out of the crew shower? Before work is when I get some editing done and I plan out some scripts for my shorts content and there's no distractions, it's my favorite time of day. When guests are on board, I take the morning shift and Josh takes the later shift. So he typically goes to bed later and gets up later in the mornings. my starter. Oh, it's looking okay. So I left the starter in the fridge for like three weeks and now I'm bringing it back to life just after seven o'clock now and I need the starter to be good and bubbly. The okay, starter is fed. I will check it in a couple hours, see if it's big and bubbly and ready to be used. Um, now back to editing. Okay, it's 8.30 now. It's time to start work and the name of the game today is laundry. And there were guests in all five staterooms, so I have about 24 loads of laundry to do this week. The trick is to set a timer. I use my watch and that way Things aren't just sitting in the washer or the dryer for hours when you forget about it. Um, so I can squeeze in like eight loads a day. Today I'm focusing on the interior. So I'm making beds, cleaning the heads, basic beds and heads stew stuff. We have three crew on this vessel, so we sort of do a bit of everything to help each other out. If a light bulb is out, I'll replace it. When I don't have guests on board for weeks or months at a time, uh, I don't actually make the bed. I just put this top comforter on. That way the sheets don't get musty. And I typically rewash them right before guests arrive. It really all depends on the guests and the program. If they require more service, then they're going to hire more crew. 
There is really no need for the beds to be made. They just need to look nice in case anybody comes on board, but nobody will actually be sleeping on them. clean some toilets. I like to listen to podcasts when I'm working, especially when I'm cleaning all day. Um, specifically comedians. I am part of the Broski Nation. So listen to Theo Vaughn, Your Mom's House. Podcasts really help me pass the time. Like any job, there are some things you don't particularly enjoy, but this job, I always question my life choices. This is a very family oriented program and they treat us like their own. Um, on private vessels, there's an opportunity to really get to know the owners and form relationships with them. I've worked on other boats this size and we've had like seven, six or seven crew. Uh, this vessel only has three crew. So that's why I do the cleaning and the cooking. It is a pretty mellow program. It's not too hard on the crew. For example, this past two week trip, our owners gave us the crew night off and they cooked themselves a meal on board while the crew went ashore and we had our own fun. It's pretty good. Okay, load one. I love these so much. They had them at Costco and they're not sweet at all. And this one's pink lemonade, Spindrift. Oh, they're so good. I hope there's no artificial colors in it. We know how I feel about artificial colors. Where does the color go? Okay, that's what I want to know. Where, where does the color go? This one is pink. Oh, hibiscus in parentheses for color. That's what I like to hear. Carbonated water, cherry puree, lime juice, lemon juice, hibiscus for color. That makes me feel good. Ah, oh, that's a fun drink. Let's check on the sourdough. Yeah, that's looking good. Check out my garden. I grew up playing basketball. We would walk to the gym with our slides on or sandals or whatever. And then once we got into the gym, we would change into our basketball shoes. And that's exactly what I do on the yacht. I don't wear any shoes on the interior that I have worn outside on the dock because the dock is dirty. The interior is clean. <laughs> So I have my boat shoes. I wear them every day. I don't understand how people go barefoot when they're working all day. Um, it's just not for me. I love some when shoes. When the guests aren't on board, all of the deck 
chairs and cushions just are on the interior. The table is just covered, no cushions. Trash and shoe bin. Everything's just put to bed as we call it. The runner's down and then you just go Two down, three to go. Two down, four to go. Oh, wow. How special. It's Friday. This is a behind the scenes look of making the sourdough video. So I'm going off of this white sourdough bread from the bread machine, the bread lovers bread machine cookbook. This rug's backing fell apart in the wash and it's really made a mess. It's everywhere. It's a travesty. Oh gosh. If you're washing the washing machine, are you the washing machine? Number three. Number four is going in. Oh, they're painting the pylons. When it's time to prep for lunch, I keep things simple and quick. I also use it as an opportunity to test out recipes. Today's theme is a chopped salad because I'm using up the veg and clearing out the fridge from the guest trip. Number five. Done. Don't look at those. Don't look at that. Done. 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 Don't look at those either. Done. Done. Don't look at that, that's laundry. Don't look at that. Don't, don't look at that. Done. And, very exciting, grow sheets. What is, I lost track of load numbers. Is this five or perhaps six? And I don't think it matters. Editing Kelly, let me know. That is the sixth load going in, Kelly. Do have a room tour up on my channel. I will list it up here. If you're interested in seeing having a crew area tour, They were in dire need of a change. What? I didn't take that one off? Oh, I already put that one on. Got it.
Josh and I have worked on a few different boats together, and this is actually the first one I've ever had the top bunk. You got your window pillow, your knee pillow, and your head pillow. I just have to have all three, I don't know. Oh, clean sheet. Hey. Now for the big kahuna. It's not too bad because there's only one shower here. I've worked on other boats where the primary suite has two showers, two toilets, two sinks. This one, one toilet, one shower, two sinks, one bathtub. Laundry load of the day. Oh, Josh is calling. And last on the list, but definitely not the least, the day head. It's 4.30 now and we are done for the day. Mark has left to go home. Uh, Josh left for the grocery store. He's going to make us uh, one of his mom's salad recipes for dinner. And I hope you enjoyed this very realistic, mundane Friday. Um, it was very stewardess heavy today as I was flipping the boat, turning it around, putting it to bed, meaning guests won't be on for a while. Yachting can be very exciting. Travel, see new places, swimming in crystal clear water, and also yachting can be very mundane, repetitive housekeeping. Um, it all depends on time of year, the program, the amount of crew you have, just a reminder, a portion of this channel's ad revenue is donated to charity. So if you like this video and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.